So the last one here, and maybe this is actually Dave Meltzer smart moments of the week, but um, yeah, Dave Meltzer basically shits on the, unless this was deleted. Yeah. See, so the tweet was deleted by AIR gold, but, okay. ba- but basically Dave Meltzer shits on the Darby Allen promo on AEW. Yeah. And yeah, he, he, goes, I th- he goes, I thought the Darby Allen, the video, sorry, I guess AIR gold, he's like an AEW fan. So he must have deleted it because he posted that. And then everyone was probably going like, told you so, motherfucker. But anyway, so uh, Dave Meltzer speaks on the Darby promo. This is via at Julian Weeks. He goes, I thought that Darby Allen interview was so counterproductive. I couldn't believe it. Basically, his interview was to get over Cody Rhodes. Yeah, the biggest star in WWE. It was got so Cody chant going. So basically, Meltzer says this like a fucking idiot. But what he's meaning to say is basically his promo got Cody Rhodes over and shit all over everything the Young Bucks have done since the inception of AEW. Basically, mm-hmm. saying what Jim Cornette said this whole fucking time. Right. And then they got a Cody chant going on AEW, and it shows you that a lot of the people who go to these shows, like the majority of the people going to Sting's final match are people who would probably go to Monday Night Raw and a SmackDown yeah. and a, they'll just go to whatever wrestling because they like fucking wrestling. And it's not because of what you're delivering as far as quality content. Like they just want to see the matches. That's how I feel anyways. Yeah. Um, I, feel I like, think that's accurate. Yeah. And I think WWE gets a bad rap. Like I, I put a tweet out that blew up, melted everyone's brains. I just took that AEW tweet that everyone posts AEW fans like real wrestling. And I just flipped it and went WWE fans are fans of pro wrestling. AEW fans are fans of AEW. I just flipped it. Everyone melted down. I got attacked. It was hilarious. I think that that does ring true. I think that there's more casual, like a lot of WWE. If you look at there's so much more WWE fans than there are AEW fans, just objectively speaking, that probably a large chunk of WWE fans are also just pro wrestling fans in general. And it's they probably think, AEW stupid but when they come to town they're gonna go check them out like sting's final match didn't sell out because the goddamn young bucks are on the card it sold out because it's sting's final fucking match and well, like yeah, of course a, you get a lot of anyone will go in, to that in greensboro yeah you'll get someone who hasn't gone to wrestling in fucking 10 years go to that match you know what i mean so basically yeah dave just said uh they're getting cody over and uh it was so vince russo your thoughts on just that huge and maybe this is Dave Meltzer being smart. It actually is. But all I'm saying is when Dave is getting fed up, you know something's wrong with AEW. What are yeah. your thoughts on this whole Bucks angle, the Sting shit, and Darby just getting like Cody, the main event of WrestleMania, more over than anything AEW's doing? Look, uh, Sting is one of my top favorite wrestlers of all time. You know, the the Crow Sting, the, the silence, you know, all that stuff. Like, you know, when I went back after discovering wrestling and I went back and I watched all that stuff leading up to Stockade, you know, um, you know, 98, it, it, no, 97, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, or was it 90? I don't remember which it was. was. Uh, but yeah, it was 97, 97 I think. Seven, yeah. yeah. Like, cause it's before I was watching, but you know, like, when I went back and watched that, I'm like, oh man, this is like wrestling Batman. Like I'm like all about this guy. And you know, I, I popped hugely. He was the <laughs> I, yeah, I popped huge. I, I loved him in TNA. I popped huge when he went to WWE. I was so excited. And then they destroyed him immediately. I mean, it was just awful. The Sting's WWE run is one of the things that I hate WWE for to this <clears throat> to this day and always will. I, I mean, always I didn't like that he lost to Triple H, but then I liked how he was inserted in that Sting. Uh, pardon me, Seth Rollins Sting and with the Sting statue and yeah, it was, and, I mean, and it was Rollins fine, had both but... titles. Like I like that they inserted him in that picture right away. Um, and I didn't hate it so much, but yeah, it seemed like they were almost like Dean Ambrosing him. They weren't making him like the the Sting up in the Raptors. Right. They had they were like we're gonna yeah. make him like a wacky crazy guy who well no who and then like the, <laughs> yeah. the, tri- the Triple H uh, the the Triple H match. I mean, it was just atrocious. It was, it was atrocious. It was it was atrocious. it was awful. His bald spot was all out there hanging out, and they and then they send they send the NWO out there. I'm like, why why would the NWO come help Sting? And and, and it was for no other reason than Triple than the whole click was out there. You had Triple H, yeah. Sean. X Pac, Hall, and Nash out in the ring together at WrestleMania. They weren't like, if, if anything, if you're gonna send a group out to like help Sting, you send out Flair, Arn, Tully, and Barry Windham. You, know, you, <laughs> you send the, the Horsemen out. You know, yeah, like 
Um, but yeah, I guess they wanted to get the cold click out there or whatever. I, I will never forgive them for that. But yeah, the Sting's last match. And then like you, you look at like what he's done in AEW. It's been disgusting for his for his reputation, for his legacy. He wrestles in a long sleeve T-shirt. I'm like, Steve, how bad could your shoulders and arms look? Um, you know, like coming out there in that long sleeve T-shirt and jumping off balconies and banging his head in the floor. It, it's 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 sad. It's sad to watch. I, I, on the one hand, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's over if they actually end it. I do have a theory that, like, you know, Ric Flair turns on Sting one last time. And then they and, get one uh, last. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, then, I agree. and then he don't retire. And then those 15,000 people that bought the ticket are going to be really yeah. mad. Or even Dar- or even uh, Darby. Like, I always thought that it made sense, like, and the reason Sting was doing all that crazy shit was so that the retirement could be him putting Darby over in some crazy yeah. hardcore match in the end. That's what I thought, too. Like, And yeah, that's what Sting a competent booker would do. But yeah. fucking Tony Khan is everything's just so great here. It's well, yeah, all and- just so great. And we're gonna put over. We're gonna put over the young bucks. Like I guarantee you, when Flair turns on him, he goes with the young bucks because he fits in with that gimmick they're doing. So speaking of that, um, there's been a lot of contention. John Alba, Conrad Thompson, Eric Bischoff, they're bickering over, uh, you know, just on their collective podcast there over like the whole young buck sting angle. What do well, you let me think? get? Let me get. Let me guess. Conrad thinks it's great. Oh yeah, him and John Alba are like the story has been. This the, and it's just yeah. like no, dude. The the like and if Eric they Bischoff wanted this, is... if they wanted this to be a story, they would have did it with Punk. Like the yeah. story that Conrad and them are fantasy Mark booking. That's what they're doing too with the whole Cody thing and the Rock thing, and it's fine. Like do you know do your little thing, but uh, but just what what are your thoughts on like the whole Bucks just sort of inserting themselves in this already sold out house with Sting? And, oh, I mean, and, and that, you hit the nail Sting on the head with to work that with them, which yeah. I understand. I would want someone who could bump around. I would want people who could make me look like a million bucks, which obviously the bucks can do. But but the thing is, is like um, just as far as like people saying all oh, this storyline and the story of them just like beating Big Bill and Starks and like they were they were an undefeated tag team. But then this was like an afterthought where St- Tony's like, oh, I know. Yeah. Why don't we give you the tag bolts? Like, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? And it's it's garbage. It's okay, it's it's, <laughs> it's it's garbage. It's 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 just throw shit on the wall and see what sticks booking. Like, that's it. it there's nothing else to it. It's just it's you're awful. not into the bucks at all. You're not into this. new. No. Like, oh, lady. my God. I can't stand them. Like they uh, they are everything that is wrong with modern wrestling. They are uh, like. I like- if, if oh, you would if you would have created an avatar of like like everything wrong in wrestling, it would be the two of them. <laughs> yeah, the create a wrestler of like how would you design your jobber? It would if I was like, de- like design Mob in the movie monsters worst nightmare scenario, and it's yeah, you design yeah. them. You uh you so I like I like that they're leaning into this shit. I do. I I'll put it over, but and it's interesting. I go like, okay, I'm actually interested in them actually leaning into this like fucking evp thing but just like why didn't you do it with punk and draw a bunch of money you know like yeah. i just well, don't yeah get... because that's the the children yeah like now punk you're was doing apparently, it now with punk Sting. was apparently willing punk was apparently willing to work with them and yeah. they the ones that said no you know he was 